That's right. That's because Shauna Green is the new head coach, just about ready to start her first year on the program. First week of December, they will have their first conference game as they'll be on the road taking on Indiana. And they got some big non-conference games like Missouri, Butler, and Pitt coming up on the schedule. And they're not only here in Minneapolis, but they are dressed to the nines. Yeah, fit check. Okay, green check mark. We're good. <laughs> Everybody looks good. Everybody looks happy because it is a new era. A couple of juniors, Makaira Cook and Kendall Bostic, are joining the new head coach, Shauna Green, here with me at the desk. And when I say Shauna was successful at Dayton, that is a wild understatement. Five A-10 titles in six years. You won 26 games last year. You are a three-time conference coach of the year. How did you do so well at Dayton? What worked so well? You get really good players, and, and they make you look like a lot better coach. So uh, it's that's the name of the game is, is players that fit how you play and your style and that believe in what we're doing. And I uh, give all the, you know, the credit goes to them. Describe your style of coaching. It starts really with defense. You know, we defend, we rebound, and then we're going to run. So, you know, we've been a top 15-team defense field goal percentage in the nation the past six years. So that's that's where we hang our hat on. And then we want to play really, really fast. But I always tell these guys, you can't you can't run and play fast if you if you're playing off of a, a dead ball to make. So right. got to get stops. I mean, you can. It just won't go very well. Exactly. You, you can. <laughs> um, describe uh, what Josh Whitman did to sell you on this program because it. This, you're not taking over a 30-win yeah. program right now. Yeah, you know, I, I tell everyone I, I could have stayed and been really, really happy where I was. But, you know, when he started talking and the more we talked and, and the more relentless he was and, and really, you know, trying to tell me his vision of, of what, you know, we could do here and, and the resources behind it and the support from the top down. I mean, I'm a people person and, and I believe in, in him. I believe in, you know, his support and what he's going to do for us. And he's given us what we need. So, Really, it was about. It came down to the people and his vision of, of success. Kendall, what are her practices like? Um, very detail oriented. Her like we have a big emphasis on defense, and as I mentioned before, we do um, a lot of drills on defense. That sometimes 60 to 70 percent of the practice is just defense, and I think that's something that's really good for us and that we need to work on. And I remember one of the first practices for like the last 10 minutes, we did defense one on one. And we were getting like some of us were getting blown by, and she was like, "Every day, like you're gonna have one bad defensive day, and it's okay." But she's like, "You can learn from it, and you can get better from it." So there's a lot of learning opportunities. There's a lot of details and like skills and drills and different things. Now, Makaira, you transferred to Illinois. Where did you transfer from? From Dayton. I see. And who was your head coach at Dayton? Shauna Green. I see. Did you have an option, or did she just say, "I'm <laughs> taking you with me"? No, I had an option. Um, when a coach leaves, you're not allowed to have any contact. <laughs> oh, very good answer. <laughs> very good answer. What made you want her to come with you? Why did you want Makaira? I mean, you know, from the moment we recruited her and, and when she got to the campus at University of Dayton, she was a, a just a key, key piece to us. And, you know, again, give her credit. She's continued to develop every single year. And, and she's just, you know, one of the best guards in the country. And for her to come and, and be able to compete at this level, I think was a challenge for, for her as well. So she's, she's an elite player. And, and more importantly, she's an elite person. What's her style of play like? What are, what are Big Ten fans going to see when she's on the court? You know, she's gonna she's probably going to have a ball in her hands a little bit more this year. Last year she played off the ball a little bit more, but she can play, you know, multiple positions. And, and she's a scoring point guard, which I really, really like in our system. So she can get to the – really, I think she is a – I say this all the time, she's a guard that can get her shot off at any time. And not a lot of women um, in our game can do that. And, and she, can, she can get it off at any time. What's Coach Green like in games? In games, um, Coach Green is she's intense, but like a good intense. Um, it's not she's like she allows you to give some options of like say something wasn't working and we wanted to run something like hey Coach Green we should run this. She would like give us an option. Uh, she gets on us. She praises us really well, and yeah. I want to do a little trivia. Do you guys know who was the number one rebounder in the Big Ten last year? <laughs> Kendall Bostic. That's right, right here, sitting next Kendall to us. <laughs> what makes you such a good rebounder? 
Um, I think rebounding is just something that comes with effort and hard work, and it's something that I really put my mind to last year. Um, so my offensive game wasn't kind of where I wanted it to be last year, so I took to rebounding, and I said I'm going to do this to the best of my ability. It's going to help my team um, in every way possible, and I just I enjoy it. Like I know a lot of people don't, but I think it's something that I take a lot of pride in. Um, it's effort and hard work. <laughs> Um, what are some of the things that you guys have done as a program? Because it's been six months that you've been there, mm -hmm. roughly, something yeah. like that. Bonding-wise, what are the things you've done to try to have this team bond? Uh, we've done, like, potlucks as a team. Like, we'll each kind of cook a little dish. We, I know we have card nights at our house a lot of the time. We love cards. Uh, what else have we done? Uh, we go to, we've been at Coach Green's house every mm -hmm. weekend. Yeah. So that's been really fun. You guys mess it up? Uh, mess it up, it. you know, run through her house. And they don't clean up either, so that's, that's on me. Eat all the food. <laughs> what kind of card games are we playing? Uh, cards Against Humanity, 500. Monopoly deal. Monopoly deal. Uno. Uno. Like cards Against Humanity with our coach? Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no okay, no, no. okay, I was going to say, that's, that's aggressive. <laughs> uh, potluck, who brings the best stuff? Um, or um, who's the worst, if that's easier? The best. We'll go with the best. Um, the, the people who bring the best things. Uh, Genesis, she made some good stuff. Uh, yeah. the, our freshmen made some good stuff. They really good cookies. Kendall made our household, like, some really good fruit dip. Fruit it dip. was fruit dip. Okay. Yeah. I know it's uh, multiple things, but if there was one thing that you're like, if we're going to succeed as a program, we have to do this. What is the this? I think it starts with defense. We, we got to be able to defend. It just it, that's going to put us in a position to at least be in a position to win games. So starts with that, no question. Makaira, Kendall, Shauna, thank you so much for being here. Good luck in the first year in charge of the Fighting Illini. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you.